All right, so if you're watching this video, then that probably means that you have a bunch of GPUs that you've already bought for mining that are barely, if at all, profitable for you to run right now. But I had this idea. What if you buy a solar panel system and you run your GPUs only during the hours that your solar panels provide you with free electricity? And at the end of this video, you'll see why this is probably the best way of making GPU mining properly profitable again. But before we get there, there are three questions that I'm gonna answer in this video. And the first one is that can buying a solar panel setup for GPU mining actually be profitable? Meaning, can you actually make enough money from GPU mining using that free power in order to pay back the cost of those solar panels within a realistic time frame? And the second question is, what is the most profitable coin to mine when you have free but a limited amount of power from solar panels? And finally, is it even worth it or will you actually end up with more crypto if you just take the money you would have spent on solar panels and just straight up buy the coins instead? So all of that is what's coming up in this video. But first, quick word from our sponsor. Operating for over five years, BitCap is one of the premier ASIC and GPU hosting services in North America, servicing customers worldwide. Powered by 100% renewable energy, they've got the best pricing for hosting your hardware. With live customer support 16 hours a day and a performance uptime agreement, you can feel confident and secure that your miners are working their best. One of the first to offer small and large scale immersion cooled hosting options, BitCap allows clients to push their compatible ASIC hardware to the peak of performance. Visit bitcap.co to learn more and get energized today. So to do this, we're actually going to start with the second question, which is what is the most profitable coin when you have free but limited power? Or in other words, what coin is the most profitable per watt? And to find this out, we're going to use my 12 by 3070 rig that I have extensively tested on pretty much all the GPU mining algorithms that you can check profitability for on what to mine. And the testing I've done is basically trying to optimize for the most hash rate per watt and then measure that wattage at the wall. So these are all true at the wall numbers. All right, so let's come over here to Watermine. And for those of you who might be new, Watermine is basically a website where you can enter in the hash rate and power consumption you get when mining different algorithms on your GPUs. And then it will basically tell you how much profit you will make mining different coins that use those GPU mining algorithms. So as you can see, I have my 12 by 3070 rig selected here and it has all of the real, you know, at the wall numbers that I've found through my testing. And what I've done then basically is I've put in a power consumption or a power cost rather of uh, nothing right free power because with solar panels that is kind of what we would get so I'm just looking at what is the actual revenue here and then what I did was I took all of these results and I copied them into a spreadsheet here. And I will share this spreadsheet with you guys. Link will be in the description of this video. If you wanna make changes to it, just hit file and then make copy and you should be able to edit it. So it has a couple disclaimers here that you can read. And yeah, let's move on to kind of like the results here. So as I said, I just copied in the revenue per day from what to mine for my 12 by 3070 rig here. So revenue for all these coins. And then what I did was I also copied in how many watts these different coins consume when you know achieving this sort of revenue. And then it was just a matter of dividing these. And of course that gives you a very, very small number. So I multiplied that by a thousand to get the amount of dollars per kilowatt. And then of course, since this is the revenue per day, just take that divide by 24 and you get your revenue and you get the amount of dollars made per kilowatt on these different coins simple enough right so what we can do then is we can actually sort by this number so obviously just because this is the sort of coin that gives you the highest revenue per day that me doesn't necessarily mean it's the one that's going to give you the most money per watt of power which is what we're trying to optimize for here right because this might use a heck of a lot more than something like Caspa, you know, that uses only a little bit of power. So, you know, I already hinted at it, but yeah, if we sort by this, Caspa 
comes out on top because it's a very profitable coin to mine and it's only using a very small amount of power at 950 watts. All right, so now that we know what the most profitable coin to mine per watt of power used is, let's actually have a look at what this would mean for us when looking at solar panels for mining. But first, by the way, if you're still watching this far in, then I got something for you as a thank you. If you go to our merch store at gpuheadswithaz.com and enter the code THANKS, you'll get 15% off your order. We currently have the design of the Grim Reaper coming for Ethereum, and that's only going to be available until December. Or of course, we have the classic GPU heads design that I'm wearing right now. And if you get something there, you just know, as I always say, that that is a great way for you to support the channel and get something awesome in return. All right, now back to the video. So let's come back to this spreadsheet and I'm gonna just copy this number here, dollar per kilowatt hour. And then of course, uh, I have made a little calculator here. So you can see I've already pasted this here, mining revenue per kilowatt hour. Now let's talk about sort of solar panels and what we would get here. So in my mind, how I look at it is get enough panels to cover the full consumption of your mining rigs when they're up and running, but basically no more in order to be as efficient as possible price wise. So what that means is let's say for this uh, 12 by 30, 70 rig, we know that to mine Caspa, it uses 950 watts, just like we have already specified in our spreadsheet here. So let's say we get a 950 watt solar panel system. So let's put that in here. Now you might need some overhead here. Um, they don't perform at their full wattage at all times, yada, 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 cloudy days and so on. But let's just go theoretical here, 950 watts, our rig pulls 950 watts, let's move on. So then we got to talk about solar system total price. So obviously this is one of those situations where you can come in, make a copy of this spreadsheet and enter in your own numbers. Uh, solar panel systems cost way different depending on what country you live in, if there are tax benefits uh, and so on. But now a sort of rough, like good price, which is, you know, you should obviously go for as cheap of a price as possible when doing this. Uh, that I found through looking at people installing solar panels on YouTube and stuff is it seems that a good but sort of realistic price for a lot of people is one dollar per watt of solar power right and this is talking about the whole system not just the panels so obviously for what we're doing here you shouldn't need to get battery because you're going to be using the full amount that your panels provide so that is a big cost saving there so this should be just the panels and whatever you need to hook that up into the you know power system in your property so let's just go with that and call this setup 950 dollars and then we of course got to see how many kilowatt hours our solar setup will provide us and that's going to be very dependent on the amount of hours of sun you get each and every day so now no matter what i say here i'm going to have some of you in the comments say that's too much and i'm going to have some of you say that's too little because we all live in different places on this planet and they get different amounts of sun each year so i thought how can i be as fair as possible well I basically just googled what is the average amount of sun hours per day across the planet <laughs> so i found this uh, website here they take you know all this data from 1961 to 1990 between 129 countries from 1800 different weather stations and they came to the conclusion that on average uh, we get six hours and 24 minutes of pure sunshine every day so that is average across the world and across the year. So let's say six hours and 24 minutes, right? Now, solar panels also do generate some amount of power when there's no sun, like not during the night, obviously, but on cloudy days, on rainy days and so on. So, you know, for the purpose of this spreadsheet, let's call it seven hours of sun per day. That's sort of usable, right? So that means on average, a 950 watt solar panel system will generate 6.65 kilowatt hours. All right, so now that we know how many kilowatt hours provided, we can basically see how much can we mine with this. 
And we already know, of course, that our mining revenue per kilowatt hour is about 11.6 cents. So now all we gotta do is just, you know, multiply that by the amount of kilowatt hours we're provided on average every single day by our solar panel system. And that comes to a whopping 77 cents of pure profit every single day. Which basically leads us to how long will it take to pay off this solar system using our GPU mining rig of 123070s? Well, it will take 1,229 days, or in other words, about 3.4 years. Now, it says 3.4 years to ROI the solar system, but keep in mind that that is based on the current mining yield as of today, and also based on selling all of the mined coin at today's coin price. But you also have the option of mining these coins and holding them in the hopes that the coin prices will go up in the future. And historically, we are due another bull market in maybe two to maximum three years from now. Of course, that's not financial advice, nothing in this video is, but let's say you do mine Casper now and you get those Casper profits paid out to you in Bitcoin, like I show you how to do in the video here. Uh, I'll leave a link to that up in the corner there as well as in the description of the video. But then you take that Bitcoin, hold on to it, and let's say that in the next bull market within two years from now, Bitcoin goes back to its all time high, which was about four times the price of what Bitcoin is right now. That means that you're mining all of this coin now, but then it ends up being worth four times as much as it is now. So if we come back to the spreadsheet here, basically that just means that our mining revenue per day is actually four times as much as it looks here. So let's just multiply this by four and then we can see all of a sudden the ROI, the actual ROI for the solar system was less than a year and everything else that you mined after that point was just 100% pure profit since you own the GPUs already and after that point you're just mining off of completely free solar power. And the cool thing is that this of course also scales. So let's say instead of one of these rigs you have three of them. So then we just have to multiply this by three and then of course the solar system price by three and as you can see we're still on less than a year because more solar panels to run more GPUs as long as the ratio is the same there that doesn't affect your ROI. The only difference is that after you've met that ROI the more GPUs you have running off of solar the more profits you will have. Now there's one more thing that I want to address in this video and that is if this whole thing is even worth it or if you actually end up with more crypto if you instead of spending all of that money on solar panels just take that money and just straight up buy the crypto right then and there to begin with. So that's what we look into but first a quick word from our sponsor. Established in 2017, OctoMiner is an international mining hardware company. They manufacture and engineer the best mining equipment in the industry and supply rigs to some of the largest mining farms around the world. Their GPU mining rigs also integrate with the top crypto operating systems like HiveOS, MinerStat, and Simple Mining. All parts come with an international one-year warranty. Exciting news! They will be adding ASIC miners for sale to their website soon and launching a new product built specifically for ASIC home miners. Please visit octominer.com or email support at octominer.com for questions. All right, so finally, let's have a look at if this whole solar panel thing is actually even worth it or if we end up with more crypto by just taking the money we would have spent on solar panels and buying crypto with that instead. Now, let's have a look. So let's go with the numbers. Uh, I have a little spreadsheet with some calculations here. Of course, it's a SEB video after all. All right, so we said 2,850 watts and $1 per watt of solar system. So let's just enter that in here again. Here we go. And then of course, average sun hours per day. We said seven hours per day. So we already know our mining revenue per kilowatt hour. We know the mining revenue per day based off of that. Uh, it's just the mining revenue per kilowatt hour times the amount of kilowatt hours we get per day. We also know the Casper price. 
which means we can see how much actual Caspa coin we mine each day, which we can see here it's just below 261, it's 260.91 Caspa coins per day. So how much Caspa do we get if we just buy Caspa for these $2,850 instead? Well, then we end up with 320,693.15 Caspa coins. So that sounds like a heck of a lot more than just 261 per day. But what actually ends up happening is that in order for the mining to catch up, it's basically the exact same time as we saw here um, before I did times four for the price increase, obviously, of 3.4 or so years. As you can see here, it's actually exactly the same. Basically, what this means is as long as you mine for at least 3.4 years on your solar panels, you will end up with more Caspa than if you were to just buy Caspa outright with the money you would have spent on the solar panels. Now, I do have a video breaking down completely why mining a coin is actually a better investment in most cases rather than just buying the coin. Uh, I'll leave a link to that video up in the corner there as well as in the description of this video. But finally, I also want to drive home the point that you know, you're not done after 3.4 years. Most solar panels have a lifespan of at least 25 years. Most of them actually even come with a 25 year warranty, which means you got another 21 years at least of, I mean, doing whatever you want with these panels, you know, either using them to just cover your electrical bill. Well, you know, that's a way of sort of making money in a way or keep mining on them to make even more money. But that's it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it one of these. And if you really liked it, you can now join the channel to help support what I do here. It really does make a big difference and it means a lot to me. So thank you. And as a bonus, if you do decide to join, you also get access to our private Discord chat room. And I love talking with you guys in there. But what you got to do now is you got to click on one of those videos on the screen. Because this video is over, you can also click the picture on my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on that next video and I'll see you there. Goodbye. Goodbye, bye-bye.